Hey guys, it's me Kia Samar here, and today I'm going to be reading a Suwara Koshi X listener. This is part 6 in the Kiss series, and without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Koshi Sugawara laughed to himself as he looked around the dance hall. His teammates seemed pretty intent with interacting with the fair sex on the day of the dance, and it seemed more magnified than it ever was. They were currently bickering over who would make the first move. Half of Karasuno seemed to think that it would be Daichi, their captain, to open up the dance floor, while the other half suggested it would be one of the more outgoing members like Tanaka or Nishinoya. No one even bothered to mention Asahi, and for that, he was eternally grateful. Suga couldn't help himself but chuckle behind his fist. He himself had never really shied away from girls, and watched them, and watching them flounder had always been amusing to him. However, if they continued waiting for someone from Karasuna to start dancing, everyone would stand there awkwardly all night, unless Suga took charge. He scanned the room for a moment as he saw several very cute girls, but then he spotted you laughing freely with your friends, phantoming some ridiculous story with a large, exasperated motions, and completely unconcerned with how silly you might have looked. Sugawara knew exactly which girl he was going to ask to join him on the dance floor. With his teammates deciding amongst themselves, Suga pushed his half cup his half full cup onto Asahi and strode off to casually join your circle. Excuse me, he said politely, interrupting your talking with your friends. You and your friends stopped and looked in his direction. Suga felt a little chump in his chest over the bright ease of your smile. Hi, he continued, looking directly at you. I hope you don't mind, but I saw you from across the room and I was hoping that you would want to dance with me. Seriously? You asked him, looking only slightly embarrassed. Suga nodded at your response, and without even looking at your friends or anyone, Suga took that as a matter, or... <laughs> Suga nodded his response, and without looking at your friends or anyone, but Suga for that matter, you placed your hand onto his outstretched palm as he led you to the dance floor. He himself laughed when he saw his teammates standing their son, while Hinata, Tanaka, and Nishinoya looked beyond impressed with their, com with their senpai's confidence. You have a nice laugh, you mentioned, grinning up at him. Thanks. You have a really contagious smile, he admitted. Which only caused your grin to widen. <laughs> Shut up, you said coyly, glancing away from him. You couldn't help yourself, though, and you met his stare again. I'm first name, Sugawari Koshi, but my friends call me Suga. He grinned. God, you were cute. He was thrilled to see that you were willing to have a good time, and that, with a couple out dancing now, other pairs were finally starting to head over and enjoy the music. With one hand on your hip and another one in the air, celebrating the fun, up-tempo song, Suga grinned broadly at the two as you two danced along and bounced with the music. He grabbed her hand and that was in the air and spun you around to face him, leaving his arm crossed over your waist. His other hand shifted to your opposite hip and he let it thump gently as he placed- as it- <laughs> as he let it thump gently in place as he rocked those hips of yours to the music. It was mesmerizing. He, he was staring distractedly at your bottom lip, pulling slightly back at his teeth. Then you turned your head to catch a stare. You gave a sly smile, eyebrows raising knowingly. He had been thinking you were phenomenal, and now you were the only thing that was on his mind. Suku couldn't help but smile back at you confidently, laughing gently at being discovered. Releasing his other hand from your grasp, his fingers were placed on both of your hips, turning you around to face him once more. As the song came to a climax, you threw your head back and laughed so hard at the intentional, <laughs> intentionally at his ridiculous face. It was that contagious smile of yours, and then he laughed as well, while the music dropped off to a slower tempo song. <laughs> that was fun, he said next to his ear, hoping that he could hear you above the loud party noise. It really was, really fun. Would you like a drink? Suga asked you, breathing a bit harder after jumping around like an idiot. Much to his delight, you nodded and he led you to the back, a small back over to the refreshment table and poured you some punch. So, where are you from? He started, taking a sip of his own drink. Josenji, I'm going to be the manager next year, he replied. Ooh, good luck to you, Suga teased. They seem like a handful of a team. No kidding, you giggled. I'm starting to wonder what I got myself into because the team is a big mess. Suga laughed and stared at you for a moment. You were really very pretty. He wanted to spend more time with you, having fun, but you suddenly looked very uncomfortable, shifting your posture with with him as some sort of shield, and slightly facing in the other direction, and covering your face with your hand. What's up? He asked you, darting around as, as if he missed something. 
He walked over behind the refreshment table, pulling Suga behind him and positioning him again, so that he blocked most of the party. See that guy over there? No, d don't turn around. Well, how am I supposed to see him if I don't turn around? Suga laughed, as your corresponding adorably annoyed expression only served to make him fall a little harder. Okay, turn your head, but don't make it obvious. He's wearing that horrible yellow suit and white tie. You described, carefully peeping over his shoulder for a brief second. Suga turned and spotted the guy. He looked absolutely average. Nothing really out of place except for the fact that he was walking around really awkwardly and scanning the ballroom. Okay, what about him? He's on my team. His name is Kazuma. He keeps asking me out even though I've said no repeatedly. And last week he tried to kiss me. I yelled at him, but he keeps bothering me. Suga gave the guy another glance. But this time he found himself crinkling his nose, as if the boy had suddenly became something so offensive. Scooting even further away, he complained. Our captain, Terashima, told me that Kazuma wasn't coming. I should have known better. That guy loves to watch people squirm. Yeah, I'm not a fan. He's kind of a public enemy number one of Karasuno after harassing, harassing our manager, Suga complained. You'd begun chewing your thumbnail nervously, so he'd asked you, you want me to say something to that Cosmo guy? N no, uh, I don't want you to get involved. We just met, you said, the guilty embarrassment evident on your features. Yeah, I can see that you got a lot of- Fuck. Yeah, I can see myself getting into a lot of trouble over you. Suga thought to himself, unable to suppress his grin. I don't- I don't really mind, really. He admitted, tilting his head to the side as he considered reaching out to hold your hand. Suddenly, your eyes widened. Crap, he's coming this way. Crap. Grabbing you by the wrist, Suga whispered, Come here. And yanked the two of you below the back side of the refreshment table underneath the draped uh, tablecloth. What are you doing? You hissed, even though you were grinning, eyes sparkling even though there was hardly any light beneath the table. What does it look like? You told you told me not to talk to him, so I'm hiding you. The two of you quietly laughed before Suga requested, Now, hand me your phone. My phone? Why? Because I left mine out, on there the, out there on the table, he chuckled, and I have a plan. You nodded, but your eyes widened slightly as the tip of, tips of your ears felt hot. Fine, but don't peek. Obviously, at a loss, Suga wondered, peek? Why would I? You interrupted, I'm in a dress, Sugawara, no pockets, and there's really only one place to keep my phone. Now that it was, no, it was Suga's eyes widening before cutting to the side, his hand flew direct, diagonally over his face, des desperately but futilely trying to hide his blush. If nothing else, at least you had gotten him to make such a cute expression. <laughs> twisting your torso around you or and slightly pulling out <laughs> twisting your torso around slightly and pulling out pulling it out of your bra, you had handed him his cell phone or your cell phone. And he was very flustered. Wow, he he quietly exclaimed, a hint of mischief lighting his features. It's really warm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Shut up, pervert. He scolded him, shoving or er, shoving slept, uh, softly against his shoulder, hoping your embarrassment wouldn't be that obvious. I thought you were helping me fix my problem. Another soft laugh escaped Suga's mouth. He said, Okay, okay. He dialed the number before motioning you to scoot closer. Not only were you close enough to enjoy the pleasant smell of him, but you could also easily hear the other person on the end of the line. Who is this? A deep, an exceedingly deep voice asked. Daichi, it's Suga. Where are you? Why are you whispering? You and Suga exchanged a glance and stifled more laughter. It was stupid. Both of you knew it. It was completely unnecessary, but you were having so much fun. Listen, Sugawara continued. I need you to do something for me. I really need you to get attention of those guys from Jojenji. Jojenji. Chat them up about volleyball or anything. Just get them away from the refreshment table. What? Why would I do that? What's wrong with them having snacks? The voice called. Daichi asked. Now you are really struggling not to hold back laughs. No, they can have... It's not about snacks, Taichi. Suga snorted. Come on, I know you wouldn't help. You know I wouldn't ask you unless it was for a good reason. Why? We're supposed to be having fun right now, Suga. It's a party. Talking to those fun punks from Jojenji. Jojenji hardly sounds like my idea of fun. Sugawara nodded in agreement. I know, I know, but if you do this for me, I'll owe you big time. Come on, Daichi, please. There was a silence on the other end of the line for what felt like forever before Daichi said, Suga? Hmm? You watched him have a small s you watched a small smirk curl into the corner of Suga's lips. He seemed to be anticipating what Daichi was thinking. Is this about a girl? He asked, with a slight bit of teasing in his tone. It might be. 
You could see that Suga was the playful type of guy, and he shook your head as you grinned at him. He continued, Does that hurt my plea or help it? A long pause was waiting on the other line. Daichi sighed extremely dramatically and loudly. They're not going to want to spread they're, they're not gonna want to spend the rest of the time at the party with me, you know. I doubt I can keep them busy for like twenty minutes. They had him. It was working. Suga gripped your hand closest Suga gripped the hand closest to you and gave it a triumphant shake. Your heart sped up and you didn't notice and when he didn't let go of his continued call. I'm on it. Pass it to, pass the phone to Kageyama. You listened as a strange conversation followed, in which a very serious sounding boy, who occasionally interrupted by high, hyper, extremely noisy voice, interrupted or <laughs> listened intently to what Suga was declaring as in, an important mission for only his favorite junior that only Kageyama and Hinata could help their senpai with. Somehow, the younger boys were very agreeable with all of Sugawara's insane requests, and you wondered what kind of volleyball club was running at Karasuno. That should take care of them for at least a few minutes. Until, until then, we sh wait. That should take care of it for a few minutes until I can get back out of here to keep them busy. He grinned, placing your cell phone back in your hand. Now you can enjoy the party without worrying about Kazuma. You scoffed. And how exactly are you going to enjoy, enjoy the party like that? I can't let you ruin your evening over me. Suga uh, chuckled softly. He let go of your hand and brushed away the loose strand of hair in your face. His fingers burning it against your cheek in a way that made you crave just a little bit more. Smiling at that, smiling that beautiful smile of his, he said, I'd say you've done anything but ruining my evening. You returned that a smart, <laughs> you returned a shy smile of your own, focusing on the beauty mark on his face. A little embarrassed and overwhelming heat met your face as you looked him in the eyes. Sugawara cleared his throat. Come here. Let's take a look. He carefully lifted the edge of the tablecloth enough to see so you two could peek out. The two of you were spotted by your teammates who were wildly energetic. The two of you were quickly spotted. <laughs> the two of you quickly spotted your teammates who were wildly engaging in a very energetic conversation with Terashima and Karasu's number 10 moving animatedly all over the place. They looked plenty distracted and unconcerned with the refreshments corner. It had worked. Suka dropped the tablecloth and the two of you began laughing at the whole situation. You had basically spent your high school dance under a table like two little kids playing secret agents. It was ridiculous, but it had been really exciting. It was a blast. You looked up to find your faces were a little too close. Heat radiating off of the pair, you crouched underneath the table and put your hands on your knees. God, he really was beautiful, with his silvery hair and the mole underneath his red eye and that mischievous grin, not to mention he wore a black suit with a maroon dress shirt as well. You weren't entirely sure how you had ended up in this position with a guy like Suga. The laughter died down, awkwardly, but neither of you two moved away. Suddenly, the two were forced to study just how close their faces were to one another. Suga tilted his head slightly slowly leaning in even closer, until you were holding your breath for anticipation. Your heart was beating like mad, and he asked, Could I? And you responded with closing the rest of the tiny gap for him. His kiss was soft but confident, and your skin felt like it was on fire from his touch as it was before, and his as his hand slid tenderly across your cheek and to the back of your head to deepen the kiss. Gently, he moved his lips at the same time as yours, pulling away with a sweet kiss to your cheek. Um, you managed, yeah. Um, there was only another split second of staring at each other before you were pressing your lips back to each other eagerly once more. And much more passionately than you did moments before. His smell, taste, they were all threatening to overwhelm you, but you were too impatient to feel more of his lips on yours. It wasn't that it wasn't something that you could get away with stopping. Not yet. Your insides flipped slightly as he pulled you closer, your hands catching fistfuls of fabric on his chest. I can't believe I met a guy like you tonight. You breathlessly exclaimed. Equally breathless, Suga complied. Or Suga complained. That's my line. There was a little too much perfection. Or he was a little too perfect. 
You grabbed his shirt tighter and pulled him back to your lips before traveling down to his jaw. He gasped quietly as he sucked softly at the pulse line before peppering his throat with eager kisses. <laughs> he grabbed your face with his hands and kissed you long, grittily, tongue delving deeper and deeper into your mouth before he backed up abruptly, wincing as he had heaved, looking slightly pained. His hand reached across his chest, covering his racing heart and fingers feeling warmth at the collar line where your lips had just been. His wince melted into more of a something of a wink, and his mouth curved into that imp impish smirk. With the two of you still trying to catch your breath, he said, we have to stop here before somebody could get us in trouble. You shivered at his claim, knowing exactly how he felt. You wanted him just as badly as he wanted you. All right, I'm going out first, and I'll definitely keep everyone distracted from the table until you're out of the party. After that, please enjoy yourself, so I know you won't be occupying Kazuma and Hiroshima in vain. He giggled. You laughed back, though you still felt a little guilty that he had decided to forfeit the rest of his evening. His hazel eyes widened as he pointed to your cheek, saying, Oops, your lipstick got a bit smeared, which caused you to laugh even harder considering the amount of lipstick he had smeared across himself at the moment. Without thinking, Sugawara sucked his thumb, wetting it before rubbing it across the smear on your cheek to clean you off. Oh, oh, uh, I... He began to stammer, probably noticing how round your eyes had become. Did you... Another laugh was already bubbling up inside you. Did you just mom me? And for the first time all evening, Sugawara Koshi looked completely and utterly embarrassed. It was probably the most adorable thing you'd ever seen, and it only made you want to get him, or get to know him even more. While you were still laughing, he muttered, I'm gonna go now. Just one thing first, let me borrow your phone one more time. You had hidden it to him with a big grin on your face, debating whether or not to tell him that he was covered in kiss marks. You decided it would be a more interesting story if he would have come back to all of the- wait, if he would to- You decided it would be more of an interesting story he would have if he came up to all the curious guys around with marks on his face. Dialing, Siga waited for the voicemail box. He picked up. Hey, self, he said. You wouldn't know. And, and you couldn't help but let out a laugh again. This is a message from YN's phone. If you don't save the number and call you back for saying, you're a complete and total idiot. Here, tell him for his name. He pushed the phone towards your direction with your face in the middle of, la in the middle of laughter. <laughs> you're ridiculous. You giggled into the receiver. But you like it. He teased before kissing you swiftly on the cheek, pressing end to the dial and giving you your phone back. He certainly wasn't wrong. You loved it, actually. I'll distract Cosmo for the rest of the party. You try to have fun, he said as he slipped out from under underneath the table. You had sat for a few moments with your hands pressed against your blazing cheeks, alone with your thoughts. You didn't know if you'd ever been to a better party, or if, or had a better night, for that matter. And for Suga's sake, you were determined to enjoy yourself now. After making it to the group of your fellow managers, you encouraged them to dance with you and have a great time. Dancing and laughing with your friends was amazing, and it was even more amazing to steal glances over at Suga and see him approached by the person, person after person, over his disheveled appearance. Somehow, he had managed to keep Kazuma occupied until the other managers from Jojenji were he heading out. On the train ride home, they talked about the awesome time that they had, and you had to agree, saying that you wouldn't mind doing it all over again. Finally at home, you changed into your pajamas, and replayed your kiss of Suga again and again. Touching your fingers to your lips, you had hoped your phone would ring before you had the chance to fall asleep that night. It did. Stop it. That was so in- Whoa. Um. Why would- That was so sweet, and for what? <laughs> um. Can Suga do that to me? Uh, excuse me? Like, uh, bro, this would be perfect for my best friend, because she literally loves Suga so much. Oh my god. Anyways, that was so- so cute what get me i need a suga in my life oh <laughs> pause Oop, my fucking mic got too loud Oop. anyways thank you guys so so much for listening i hope you guys have a fantastic day um if you did like the video make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell so you can notify every single time i post a video also like the video because it does something for the youtube algorithm and also comment down below some requests that you want me to do and i will do my best to do them it can take a little bit of time so please don't mind that and that's all i have to say thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys later goodbye